in this video we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen where we are told that the length is given to be 70 but in front of the 70 we have a shape which is square so that shape is telling us that not just the length that is 70 including the height also is 70 so all the sides are 70 because the square has all its sides equal so when you see a shape of a square in front of a figure or a number just know that the entire length and height of that figure is given as what 70 meaning the length is equal to what to the height so what you do here is you draw an horizontal line this way first of all this is the horizontal line to a faint line and you measure 70 i'll measure 70 on that line i'll pick a point let's say this is my point here i'm picking this point here and i'm going to measure 70 on that point so from 0 to 7 is 70 right and on that line i'll draw a vertical line moving my t square my c square my t square i'll move it and i'll draw a vertical line on that line I'll come to the next point also i'm going to do the same thing vertical line on that line so on that line we are told it is 70 so i can easily just pick these two ends of the line this way so that we're measuring this point with my compass right just move it to this point so it means that here to here is equals to here so i'll just join it so i can just even use my thick line to connect these two together also i'll do the same thing here too my thick line to connect these two together also also i'm going to do the same thing here too Do the same thing here too. You can see that. So we successfully brought out the shape, the entire length and the entire height of that figure. Now, if you look at the diagram again, we are told that each of these division you see is seven equal division. That means this is one division, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll do the same thing here. I'll take my um, meter rule. I'll place it in this manner. So this is 70. So meaning that 7 divided by 7 is what? 10. So it meaning 10, 10 millimeter each. So 10, 10 millimeter each. Or I'll say 1 centimeter each. You can see that. And I'll use my C square, my T square to connect those points. But I'll be using front line. So from here to here should be front line. The next one too. From here to here also front line. The next one too. From here to here also front line. The next one too. From here to here also front line. The next one too. From here to here also front line. The next one too. Which we have from here to here also what? Front line. You can see that? And what I did vertically, I'm going to do it horizontally too. I'll place my meter root this way 10 10 millimeter each or one centimeter each so zero to here is one centimeter another one centimeter another one centimeter another one centimeter another one another one until it's seven right i wanna take my um compass my t square this way you can see that and i place my c square on it and i'll move it to this point then i'm going to draw I'll just take it from here to the first one. I'll go to the next one. I'll take it from there to the next one. I'll go to the next one. I'll take it from here to the next one. I see that. I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing. Start from this. I'll choose the first point, first line. I see that. Second point. Second line, 
third point third line you can see that you now now start closing them up to so vertically also first point first line I'll do it for both sides see that I'll go second point second line second point second line then the next one third point third line third point third line you can see that and I'll come here I'll do the same thing too if you notice something this point I'll move it here I'll go to the last point too so I'll say first point first line I'll come here also I'll do the same thing too second point second line I'll do the same thing too third point third line you see that I'll come here also do the same thing to the third point third line here come here also do the same thing too second second then the other one to first first and I'll close them up so I can just move from here and I'll have first point first line at both sides second point second line at both sides then third point third line at both sides so this is what we have right we have reproduced the same figure at the right hand side now the next thing we have to do is to do our dimensioning so every figure you see here is a visible is a thick line right so i'll just come here i'll just do my dimension here then i'll close it up this way close it up this way and put a square without touching the main diagonal the main line i'll put 17. and tick in here So to not touch the figure and the other one here that we have is giving us um, this and this then we'll close it up this way then So I'll just write my seven equal division there. So we have seven what? Equal division. So seven equal division. And this is what we have. So, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.